congratulations, you've been accepted into the Disney College program and you want to learn how to live on $10 an hour. Me too. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. For those of you who don't know, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who watched my what to wear to traditions video. If you guys haven't seen it, go watch it. Apparently it was helpful to some people. Uh, I do have an update for you though. Apparently guys, you can't wear pattern shirts. So solid colors are gonna be your best friend. Thank you Alex for letting me know that. So I apologize that I gave you wrong information, but I'm correcting it now. So anyways, today we're going to be talking about the top five ways to save money during your college program. And this isn't going to help everyone. It didn't really help me, to be completely honest, because I spent my paycheck as soon as I got it. But I'm gonna give you five ways to attempt to save money. And if they work for you, great. If they don't, I'm sorry. But if you're an alumni and you have other ways of saving money, go ahead, put them down below so that we all can know your secrets and become millionaires while we work for Disney World. This is in no particular order at all. I'm just, you know, starting with probably the least helpful to probably the most helpful. So take that with a grain of salt, whatever that means. Okay, number five. Again, not in any particular order. Ask about discounts everywhere you go, not in Disney, everywhere else. Wendy's gives out free Frosties to anyone who's a Disney cast member. You have, sometimes you have to show your blue ID, otherwise they'll just give it out to you. I got like 20% off my order at Crocs in the Florida mall when I bought my yellow Crocs for Mickey Mouse. Go ahead, check out the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party video up there. Literally ask everywhere you go, do you guys have a cast member discount? Do you guys have a student discount? They probably will. Places all around Florida also have the Florida resident discount. So like Gatorland or when you get your universal pass. Ask about the Florida discount because they always have one. So definitely use that because it's not gonna save you a ton of money, but it'll definitely save you some. And some is better than none. It's kinda like couponing, you know what I mean? Number four is to eat kids meals. Kids meals, for example, I eat like a five-year-old child and chicken nuggets are literally all that I eat when I go to Disney. So four chicken nuggets plus fries and a small drink is perfectly fine for me for whatever the eight bucks it is or something as opposed to the $11 you pay for chicken nuggets and fries for like a 10 piece and then you have to pay another $3 for a large drink and I don't ever drink all of that nor eat all of that. I eat four chicken nuggets and I'm perfectly fine. So. That's a way to save money and also not eat as much so you can also maybe t maybe lose a little bit of weight. Maybe. Uh, I'll talk about that in a future video. How to lose weight during the Disney College program. I'll talk about that, I promise. Number three is to go to Cast Connections. Uh, kind of more so wait for stuff to go to Cast Connections. Like, I personally said that I was never going to ever buy another pair of ears in the park again because all of these ears came from property control and I got them for 75% off because they were damaged. So you know that little tiny uh, tag that no one ever likes on their ears? Well, say if I were to buy these, cut this off, and then if I return it to a store, it has to be damaged out because it is missing that tag. So that means they send it off to property control where everything is 75% off because it is damaged or broken or just is missing a tag or two. So I literally paid like five or six dollars for every pair of these ears. So rose gold ears, I'm not buying until I see them at property control. Another way to save money. I mean, if you can't wait, go ahead, buy them. Like obviously limited edition pins and stuff, buy them. I got a couple Alice in Wonderland pins from Cast Connections because they were overflow. So sometimes you can find them there, sometimes you can't. It's more so like, if you wanna, if you aren't sold on it and you would buy it for a lower price, then go ahead and wait for it to be cast connections. But if you really want it and you need it and it's an impulse buy, go ahead and buy it. Also, two, I guess 2.5 then is don't impulse buy. Uh, there are so many, so many shirts that I've impulse buy that I don't even know that I have. Kinda like this one today at Box Lunch that was just kind of an impulse buy, but how can you not? Like, you never see anything with this. So I, guys, I think I figured out my Halloween costume. Number two is to bring your lunch to work. 
for the first like maybe two, three weeks, maybe longer than that, there's a whole story like where my area was, which you can click up here and watch that video to see where I worked in Disney on my college program in 2016. It wasn't a giant food court like Mouseketeria or Take 5 or whatever the other ones are like. It's just kind of a small grab and go kind of thing with like chips and a couple pizzas and corn dogs or whatever. So I bought Easy Mac and Easy Mac there was like $2.50 a bowl when you can get him an 8 pack at Walmart for like 10 bucks. So obviously you're saving a lot more money if you buy it at the grocery store, if you bring your lunch. Obviously if you don't have a car it's kind of harder to get to the grocery store, but the buses will take you to the grocery store. It is very difficult to bring all those groceries back on the bus, but it is worth it. I promise you. So bring your lunch to work and don't consistently buy your lunch. That'll save you a ton, a ton of money. Or just starve. You don't want to do that. I'm not encouraging you to, but if you're broke, I'm sorry. And number one is kind of the given. Wait or use right away. You're 40% off. Your 40% off will start in the middle of October and go until about the beginning of February. So your fall programmers, you have it halfway through your program, the second half, which is good because holiday, and your spring programmers, you have it for maybe the first month or less. <laughs> Sorry, this is why the fall program is better, but Alex will tend to disagree with me. Anyway, I was super fortunate on my program in 2016 because sales were down so bad that they ended up giving the cast members their 40% off starting in September. So I ended up saving a lot more because I had my 40% off for a longer period of time, which was kind of also a bad thing because I also bought things I didn't need. So I'm aware I went through that a little fast and I'm hoping that you guys caught all of that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Hopefully this helped and if it did, leave this video a like so that other people can watch it and get an idea of how to save money as well. Um, if you guys have any other video suggestions for me to do, please leave them down in the description or down in the comments and I will definitely do them. Thank you guys so much for being part of my family and uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!